Yo. <laughs> Yo! What's up? It's Moda. Welcome back. I'll, I'll tell you why I'm laughing in a second. But first, I, I need to say, I, I woke up early this morning to a nice round even number of 50 subscribers and to me that is just it's insane i want to thank everybody that has spent five seconds even hanging out with me and watching me you know react to music and play music i didn't start all of this for you know recognition or or cloud seeking or any of the, like i i talk a lot and i have a lot to say and i this is seems like a good reason to you know share my thoughts on music and post the occasional cover um you know it's stuff i'm passionate about i'm i'm happy to share that passion and i'm happy that there's a lot of you out there that that have similar feelings or are as passionate if not more about uh music and it really like i don't know just 50 was just like a wow moment for me so really like thank you thank you thank you so much um i'm laughing i started this video laughing because i just finished watching hunting summer and you're gonna see my reaction in a second it was a great recommendation a lot of people uh were commenting that this should be something that i spend some time on i see all comments hopefully i can sit down when i get a couple hours and like personally respond like you guys take the time uh to write these very you know well thought out detailed informative comments and i read all of them i just don't have the time uh, to sit down and personally respond. So hopefully at some point in the next few days, I'll be able to do that. Um, I see all the recommendations as well. I've actually put together um, one of those digital spinning wheels in order to, because there's, there's so many things I want to do. So it's hard uh, at times to decide what I want to do. So in the interest of taking the decision making out of my hands, I put uh, a bunch of these suggestions that you guys have been making over the last two weeks or so on a wheel that once I'm done with this sort of run of videos, I'll start spinning that wheel and, and we'll get into uh, some different stuff. Couple more reaction videos I want to do. Um, couple covers I'm working on. One might be another Koga cover as challenging as they are um i love learning her stuff her stuff is so cool and it's a lot of fun to play um and also one song by a band that i have not talked about i have not reacted to um but there's certainly another very popular band it seems like i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna get to my reaction that i just watched of Gacharik spins hunting summer. We're gonna go do that right now. Oh, this is the same show. They change genres again. They change genres again. This is the thing they want to. Okay, Oreo's singing. Honda's playing. It's not a melodic guy. Some kind of an aerophone, I think. This woman is something else.
Tomo is just playing something really cool. Oh my right channel. Stop. Did they just give Andy the oh uh, this freaking toga? Oh go with Tammy for a second. <laughs> that is stupid talent. They raise Oreo's keyboard. Really good. He's really, really, really good. This, I mean, this whole band is just incredible. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I get why everybody wanted that reaction. I was thinking the other day, like, am I, will there come a time where I run out of things to say about this band? And the answer is, if they keep putting this level this attention to detail into their live performances and just their the image of this band in general if they keep putting that much effort into it then the answer is no never it, it will never happen like i'm I, I shouldn't be surprised by i shouldn't be surprised surprised by their ability to just change their sound like from song to song, it's it's so like there are like stark differences in what this group does. Part of it because they just go play other instruments. I mean, Hana, <laughs> I have such a profound amount of respect for Hana and her musical ability. I envy it. Is another way to put it. Um, you know. Like, I want to be able to play every instrument. Like, the reality is I'll never be able to play every instrument. It's just I don't have the time in the day to sit down and learn the drums or be as as skilled at, at guitar uh, as as she is. And she she's like, I'm a great drummer. What else can I do? Well, I can sing at the same time. Okay, well, that's today. What am I going to do tomorrow? play guitar okay well it's tuesday what am i gonna do on wednesday i'm gonna learn how to play it looked like a melodica i don't think that's what it was but it's one of those like digital it's an aerophone i think it's, is what it's called and and that was one of the first things i noticed when this song started is she's not playing drums yuri's playing drums and she's just over there playing an instrument i've never seen her play before and playing it well like that's the thing you could want to go and play all these instruments, but she has the the, the ability to, to play them all at a high level. And look, I completely understand why a lot of the comments I've been getting recently, like you have to check this out. If you're into this band, check out this live performance. There was so many 
neat things happening. Obviously, Koga was tremendous. I love the over-the-top slap. Like, that's not... That's, that's like, a cool, like, show-off move. Like, playing-wise, you're it's just an open uh, pop, but it looks really cool. And the gag with Angie and Tomo was really good. Like, good enough for, like, a split second when I saw her put the guitar on. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way that, like, on top of being, like, a tremendous singer, she's gonna, you know, she's gonna play guitar. That's a neat thing. Like, a really cool thing that they sat down and they're like, how can we make this song? This one song, forget this show. One song, we're gonna put this much focus in detail into. And it's, it's, I really, like, I applaud and I salute that showmanship i think it's tough to go out and play like that like the stuff that they play it's it's challenging and it's it's very different from anything i've ever heard but then to also go out and not just play it well but perform it well is it's next level stuff i am the musician that still needs to look at the neck 95 percent of the time when i'm playing so for Tomozo to not only not need to look at the neck, but be behind someone who is wearing her guitar and play that well is so impressive to me. Like, again, this, this was an S-tier performance by all members of the band. This was an Oreo song. And then on top of that, she's playing and Hanneson cranking the... Uh, the the, the the frame of her keyboard up and tilting it forward so the audience can see what she's playing. Like, do you understand the level of attention and detail to have that thought? Like, we're gonna do this. At this point in the song, before I throw to Yuri for her drum solo, I'm going to crank your frame up so everyone can see what you're playing. Like, I don't know how many performers it would occur to to do something like that. And I I just, I have such a, a deep level of appreciation for the thought that gets put into that. Like, this, this was a great recommendation. It's, just, wow. <laughs> just, wow.